Welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and uh, in search bar, search for the BigQuery. Here, search for the BigQuery. Open this thing in new tab. Click on done. Now click on this add data. Now from here, just choose the connection to external data. Click on that. From here, just choose the last option called Big Leg to remote function. For the connection ID, just simply come on the task number one and point four just copy this my connection do not copy that full stop just copy that and make sure you do not have the extra space okay now simply click on create connection now it will take sometimes take update a score so do not worry about that if you didn't get a score on your first attempt so just be patient now if you just click on this then click on this you can see us dot my connection click on that okay now just search for the iam open this thing in new tab now just copy this service account id copy this thing click on that then click on this grant access now paste the id over here like this now for the role just scroll down and from the task number two you can see storage object viewer do not copy that full stop just copy this role paste over here and click on this and simply click on save so you are done with the task number one and task number two also and here you can see i got a score for the task number one also okay now if you just check the score for the task number two here it take time to update the score if you don't get a score on your first click do not worry about that now we have to create some data set and table so just copy this name for the data set copy that name go to your big query then click on this your project id then click on this three dot create data set paste the data set name over here and simply click on create now here you can see your data set is created now click on that now simply click on this three dot then click on this create table now from here just choose the google cloud storage okay now click on this browse option then click on this now choose the customer dot csv and open this thing click on the select now for the table name if you just scroll down you can see big lake underscore table so just copy this thing and paste over here like this okay for the table type click on that external table and from here just click on this checkbox okay and for the connection id it must be us dot my collection connection okay now if you just scroll down in the under schema make sure your last option must be support underscore rep underscore id if it's not looking like this just refresh the page and make sure it look like this now copy this thing come over here click on this and enable it and just paste over here okay sometime what happened you are not able to paste or add something like here so that time what we have to do just refresh the page and do all the step again okay and make sure it must be look like this now simply click on create table okay so we have create one table now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score for the task number three also okay now what we have to do no need to perform task number four and five just simply come on the task number six here we have to again one create table so now again click on this three dot then click on this create table now from here choose the google cloud storage click on this browse option then click on this arrow now first time we have used uh, and you can say choose uh, customer now we are going to choose invoice click on select okay now for the table name copy this name external table copy that and paste over here table type must be external table but this time we don't have to click on this checkbox okay now click on this uh, and enable it now for the this schema make sure your last option must be look like the total okay if it's not looking just simply ref refresh the page just copy this schema and paste over here okay like this okay now simply click on create so you are done with the this thing also now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now what we have to do just go to your dashboard activity your cloud shell it will take couple of seconds so just wait for that click on continue now just go to your lab instruction copy this command and run over here 
click on authorize uh, just no need to copy this cat command just copy this third command copy that and run over here then copy the last command and run over here now this command give the output like the table and project id dot everything is successfully updated now if you just simply click on check my progress it will take time to update the score so do not worry about that so just wait for a couple of seconds and keep hitting check my progress as you can see on my second attempt i got a score so that's the way we have to complete this lab i hope you guys like the video if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys